After a challenging first quarter that saw the U.S. bond market posting historically negative returns, the second quarter has been extremely uneventful as interest rates in the U.S. have been range-bound. Are bond investors too complacent? Let's break it down. Well, bond investors entered this year cautious on the heels of successful COVID vaccine developments and also the Democratic leadership in Washington. Fixed income markets began to reprice growth and inflation expectations, both higher, and the data has been trending higher on both fronts. While this can be a good backdrop for equities, particularly cyclical and value stocks, it presents a powerful headwind to the investment grade in Treasury bond markets, and that led to the worst quarter for Treasury since 1980, as the 10-year yield shot up from 93 to 174 basis points. Since mid-April, though, rates have come down and have really been range-bound, with that 10-year yield hovering around 1.6%, with low volatility. More recently, inflation expectations have also fallen. So what's changed? Well, more investors are recognizing that it's just impossible to discern reliable information, let alone extrapolate around current macro trends. There's just a really low signal-to-noise ratio in the near-term data relative to growth and inflation. There's too much unpredictability. The bond market in particular is taking its cues from the Federal Reserve, that policy will remain accommodative well into the future, and it would take something really extraordinary to move the Fed off that narrative. As we get further into the recovery and amid the surge that we're seeing in consumer spending today, some worry that the bond market may be too complacent here and that much higher interest rates are ahead. We don't think so. We agree with the Fed that any inflationary pressures we're seeing today will ultimately prove transitory. And we would add that the above average growth that we're seeing will also be transitory as the powerful fiscal tailwinds dissipate and potentially reverse in 2022 and beyond. Now, Treasury yields may drift higher, but we do not anticipate a significant step up in rates.